wooden bat, the leather glove, and the ball. They're all the same. In 2002, the Oakland Athletics changed the game of baseball forever. In this equation on the upper left right here, I'm projecting that we need to win at least 99 games in order to make it to the postseason. We need to score at least 814 runs in order to win those games and allow no more than 645 runs. What's this? This is the code that I've written for our year-to-year -year projections. This is building in all the intelligence that we have to project players. Okay. It's about getting things down to one number. Using the stats the way we read them, we'll find value in players that nobody else can see. People are overlooked for a variety of biased reasons and perceived flaws. Age, appearance, personality. Bill James and mathematics cut straight through that. It is a game that has always been defined by the numbers. But the use of these numbers is changing the look of the game completely. It's not just numbers that's changing baseball. It's the home run. Drill the right. Bellinger has hit another one. Four and four games. Twelve on the year. The Dodgers fifth of the night. It's seven to three. Three two again. High fly ball. Well hit. Deep left. Back, back, back. Big it is. Pretty big it's looking like. See you later. Yeah, I think in the MLB, a lot of guys obviously hit home runs, and that's kind of becoming like the cool thing. Um, where in the past, that wasn't necessarily everybody's like main focus, and that translates to the younger ages, uh, because that's now their goal. Um, things like bunts and hit and runs just aren't as cool anymore. Um, no matter how effective they are, some people just don't see it as like the cool thing to do. Um, so coaches don't really focus on that as much. Uh, but I think having like, a simple approach and doing a job is more important than just hitting a home run. Because the home run is becoming so popular, kids nowadays are forgetting about the mental and the fundamental aspect of baseball. Where I see that the most is with pitching. Um, everybody's focused on doing whatever it takes to throw hard um, and get to like 90 miles an hour is kind of our big goal in high school. Um, but kids don't necessarily um, focus on throwing strikes and being a pitcher. Um, we always say that he's a thrower, not a pitcher. Um, we can put him on the mound and he's going to throw hard. Um, but he doesn't necessarily know like what to do in a certain situation. Um, the same thing goes for hitting. Um, again, back to the um, thing about just trying to hit home runs. That's all anybody's really trying to do, but they're not really focused on doing a job um, when that's going to be more effective than hitting a home run every time. With all of the numbers taking over baseball, it is turning into more of a combine sport like football. 100% yes. We become, in our version, in football, it's the combine, where we're just measuring your running, their hitting, their agility, their strength. We're getting in baseball, it's the exact same thing. And a lot of times in baseball, it's not translating to the field. Believe it or not, in the minor leagues, there are several hundred guys, and I say hundreds, are now thrown 95 plus, but they can't get to the big leagues because they think they've never learned the art of pitching. Drive line and arm strength and stuff and explosion, it's changed the game. And it's changed to a point where we see a lot of one inning, one inning pitchers and not seven inning pitchers. But people have been trained or trained differently. But absolutely, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. The game has changed. We're a bunch of combine. Players. Yeah, I think so. Um, especially in the. I think it obviously all started with the MLB um, and using all stats and stuff like that. Um, but then you go down to high schoolers, um, and that's now a recruiting tool. Um, kids' bat speed, their exit velo, their velocity. Um, no matter kind of what the kid looks like, if those numbers are there, um, I think you're more likely to get a chance where if you're a guy that doesn't have all those measurables, uh, 
you might not get the same looks, um, no matter how good you are on the field playing the game. Um, but when you go to things like showcases, you have to have those measurables to stand out and get attention. Um, so I think it's definitely changed the game, the way that stats and technology is all going. So it's definitely changed. Even with the home run becoming ever so popular, the mechanics of hitting still haven't changed throughout the years. Now it's more what we teach is a simple approach to hitting, um, kind of breaking stuff down and teaching being simple, not complicated. Um, and when I played, I had a lot of like movement, everything was a moving piece and trying to put it all together, uh, which is tough. So now it's more of a simplified approach. Um, I think that we've all kind of learned how to explain things better. break things down for kids, and I think it's just more effective now. I call it hitting for dummies, and keeping it really simple. This day and age, I'm 53 years old, this day and age, I, I feel that we complicate things so much with technology. Technology is great. I incorporate it into my day job, and I incorporate it here in FSA a little bit. Um, but I like to keep it simple because when you're hitting off a 95 mile an hour fastball, uh, and that will happen if you keep this, stay in this game or get to the D1 level, you're going to face those guys. Keeping it simple works. Nothing has changed in 50 years. Ago. The verbiage has changed, the technology's changed, but nothing has really changed in the play. We like to think it has, but it's not. With the home run becoming more popular, and the numbers being implemented into the game of baseball, the game is not changing. The swings are still simple. You mentioned number 755, and someone's going to say, Hank Aaron, career home runs. That's it. Here comes your first play. Roger Maris, 1961, hit 61 homers. 511, career wins for Cy Young. So every play, there are numbers there to tell a story. And the stat cast part of it helps you see, you know, some cool numbers. How fast was that play? How hard was that throw? How long was that ball hit? I know it's cutting edge technology, but in terms of embracing statistics, it's always been a part of the game. We're just going next level now. But why are these numbers so important to us? With the amount of numbers and stats that are being forced upon players, all it does is create bad habits and slumps. And everybody knows that a slump is the hardest thing to get out of. Chris Davis had one of the longest slumps in MLB history, all because stats got in his head and ruined his swing for a whole season. These numbers are ruining professional players and taking a toll on the great game of baseball.